guys, it's Jigger Lash here. I'm back again with my, I would say May again, my June book call part two. Um, I was going to the dentist, as you guys all know, and I was scared and I went. So I rewarded myself with some books because that's what us girls do, I guess. Um, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine books from Book Outlet. And I'm so excited at the books I got. The main reason I put this Book Outlet order in was because of two books actually where are they oh my goodness hold on one second did i leave them over there what did i do with that hold on one second in the other pile um was this book asylum by madeline luke's rocks this is a scary scary book i'm reading it i'm about 48 pages into it and loving it it is just creepy there is pictures that are really creepy creepy and for six bucks is the reason why I put this order in. Then I'm trying to think where I can put these books. I got this book, which made me put the book I will order in too, was The Death of Bees. And this is by Lisa O'Donnelly. I had seen this book somewhere, I think on Goodreads. And I um liked the premise of it, but didn't want to spend the $25 for it. So I got it off Book Outlet for like six, I think. And a cover is nice and soft and it's really pretty. It's about these two sisters that they kill their parents, bury them, and nobody asks questions. But then all of a sudden, they want to know what happened to the parents and it just sounds really good. And it's got a lot of good reviews in the back. I like that book. Then I got... Cherub Mission 1, The Recruit by Robert Mersmore, I think. And this is about, don't let the name, you know, Cherub fool you. It is about a secret organization named Cherub. And they pretty much are a team that helps get rid of terrorists, bombs, all that stuff. But nobody knows about them. And this guy is becoming a recruit, and some recruits make it out of the program, some recruits don't. So it sounded really good. Um, my first book I would order, I got a lot of damaged books, like crushed, indented books. I don't know why. A lot of people have been complaining that their books have been getting squished. I don't know what's going on. Uh, then I picked up this book because I would never know it was a horror book because of the picture. It's another little piece by Kate. Carison Quinn so a broken girl a desperate choice now if you saw that you wouldn't think horror you would think contemporary right that's what I thought it was love the back with the razor and it's this girl she comes running out of the woods all cut up and it's this girl that went missing but she's not that girl she's in this girl's body but it's not her and I heard nothing but good things about this that up um i read mind games a while ago and i've been wanting to pick up more books from kirsten white so this was on there and me and my fiance both wanted to read it so i picked it up and that's paranormalcy by kirsten white um all i know is it is about she works for international paranormal containment agency and she's fallen for a shapeshifter and She's the only one who can see through glamours, and it just sounds really good. Then another reason why I put this book, I got so many good books, I'm so happy, um, was T. Michael Martin, The End Games. I've been wanting this book since it came out. Just the whole premise behind it sounds amazing. It's about these two brothers. They're in this game with zombies, and they're the players, and... It just, oh my God, sounds so good. And R.L. Stein blurbed it and said, it's tense right from the first chapter and believe me, it stays tense. It plays startling games with your head, lots of twists and surprises. A great read from a great new talent. And it sounds so good. Then another newish book that came out once the end of last year um, is by Mindy McGibbons, Not a Drop to Drink. Like, I got so many good books, so many good new releases. I'm so excited about Book Outlet. Before, they weren't having really good books. Now they are. This is about a girl who defends this pond 
with her life and so many people in the back have blurbed it um kendar blake uh michael grant he even blurbed the front so their brilliant debut not to be missed it just sounds so good then i picked up this because i've seen the paperback in barnes and noble and i liked it but i didn't pick it up and then i saw it and it was a scratch and dent hardcover so it did come with a dust jacket which i was really happy about but it was sliced right there you can see it so i just had to tape it but it's called the paladin prophecy by mark cross it really is a big thick thick book like it's huge and it's about this kid who his parents always told him to stay ordinary, do not try to excel in anything, try to get average grades. He takes a test, he gets crazy amount of scores, and now they're after him to go into this, I guess, alliance or something. But it sounded really good. Then another one that was on my list forever when it first came out was Taken by Erin Bowman. I've been waiting for this book to come out at Room Book Outlet for a while. And it's about this kid that once you're, I believe, 19, I think, or 18. They, uh, I believe it's 18. It's called a heist that the boys just vanish. And he doesn't want to be taken. So he's going to go over the wall, which nobody has survived. And it just sounds really good. And Marie Lou blurbed it and said, more, please. So it sounds really good. And it's beautiful. And the second one's already out called Frozen, I believe. Then Reagan from Proust Project and tons of people have been talking about this book. So I picked it up because I'm a follower and it sounded good. And it's uh, written and read by Annie Bishop. It's a huge book. I didn't think it was this big. And it's about this girl. She is a blood prophet. And when she cuts herself, she can see the future. And... She is trying to get away, but there's people who want her. They're called The Others. This is a novel of The Others. So I think it's another book coming out from it. And it just sounds really good. And I love the cover. And it looks so nice. Um, now, that was my first book outlet order. My second book outlet order. And I put in, like, four books because my fiancé was putting in a book outlet order for himself. And there were a couple of books that I definitely wanted to pick up. So, I picked them up and I will be right back to show you them okay and so I put in a book I wrote four books and I got The Guardian of the Dead by Karen Healy um this is about a 17 year old girl she plunges into a haunting world of revenging revengeful fairy, fairies my mythology romance betrayal and epic battle for immortality it sounded really good it's a scratch and dent copy sounds really good then I got this book. I know Reagan got rid of it, but it just sounds good. And I kind of want to get into more fantasy. And that's The Burning Sky by Sherry Thomas. And I love the cover so much. I was going to get a scratch and dent, but I really wanted the cover. So I was afraid I wouldn't get it. And this is about a girl who, it says, she can deny her powers, but she cannot deny destiny. And it just sounds really, really good. So once I read that, you'll definitely get a review on that. Then I picked up The Ward by Jordana Frankel. It was bigger than what I thought it was going to be. This is about the whole world has flooded. I think it's New York City, I believe. And um, she, her sister's sick, called The Blight, and she needs to go and try to find um the cure for her and it just sounded really good and i like the cover and the last book i picked up because i love horror books like that's my genre is horror and mystery i love that stuff it used to be dystopia sopian but right now i just love me some scary 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 miss books and my hair is scary right now <laughs> i picked up this book by carol ann west and that's the murmuring and that girl just looks so creepy and scary. I was going to get this on Scratch and Dent, but I really wanted to make sure that I got the cover because it's just freaking scary. Like, if you saw that girl coming at you, you'd pee your pants. And this is a girl that says that the voices in her head are not her own. And everyone thinks Sophia... Everyone thinks Sophia's sister, Nell, 
went crazy after all, she heard strange voices that drove her to commit suicide. But Sophie doesn't believe that Neo, or now, would take her own life. And she's convinced that Neil's doctor knows more than he's letting on. As Sophie starts to piece together Neil's last days, every leading ends in a web of lies. And the deeper Sophie digs, the more danger she's in. Because now, she hears the murmurings. Now, hold on, where was I? <laughs> now she hears the same haunting whispers. Sophie starts to think she's going crazy too. Or worse, that maybe she's not. And it just sounds so scary. And I loved it, so I picked it up. Whew. That is the end of my gigantic June book haul. There will be no more books, probably until like maybe July, because I have so much to read and I don't have any place to put my books. And my fiance is like, You gotta read. I'm like, I am. It just takes me longer to read for some reason. I don't know why. But that's my book haul, guys. Um, part two of this video will be up probably tomorrow, so you'll see part one today. Um, and I hope you guys have a wonderful day. And if you have any questions, comments, like this video, want to talk about the books, let me know. All right, guys. Have a good day. Keep calm. Read on. Bye.